One line in House of the Dragon Season 1 premiere has a connection to Game of Thrones' Ned Stark, and potential implications for Jon Snow. House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1 had several connections to Game of Thrones, but these were mostly focused on expanding the history and lore surrounding House Targaryen. This included, most notably, the reveal of Aegon's dream of the White Walkers, which reframes many events of the prequel's parent show, while there were plenty of other nods to Daenerys along the way. In contrast, for the most part the Starks were missing from House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1, save for the brief appearance of Lord Rickon Stark to pledge his allegiance to Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen when Viserys named her heir to the Iron Throne, and a direwolf sigil at the tourney held for Balin. With most of the story centered around King's Landing and the various rivalries that form there, or the pre-existing ones that will only deepen, then it does make sense that the Starks are hardly in House of the Dragon, despite their prominence in Game of Thrones. Still, the presence of House Stark could be felt, and it came at an incredibly important moment. During House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1's ending, when Viserys was telling Rhaenyra about Aegon's dream, he explains to her how it has been passed down from king to heir through the generations, and she must now carry it forward, saying, Promise me, Rhaenyra. Promise me. Those words make sense in context of Viserys' speech anyway, but they do have a connection to Ned Stark. At the Tower of Joy, a dying Lyanna Stark gave her and Rhaegar Targaryen's son, who would become Jon Snow, to her brother, Ned, with her last words, Promise me, Ned. The exact meaning of Lyanna's words to Ned remained debated. Was it simply her asking her brother to keep her child safe, or was there more to it? But it's fascinating that House of the Dragon chooses to draw a parallel between them in this specific moment. 